Welcome back into the Ed Hoddle Coaches Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Ed Hoddle. And Coach, you guys head up to Misericordia, come back with a 44 nothing win, six rushing touchdowns in the effort. How about that push up front from the O-line? Yeah, those guys did a great job. They were physical all day. Um, you know, there were times where, you know, we were ripping off 10, 12-yard runs back to back to back. Um, you know, so great job by those guys. Um, you know, it's, it's a group that we've kind of watched grow and mature. Um, you know, Joe Penn is the only senior in that group. So um, watching them grow up throughout the season has been certainly very exciting to watch. And when you get into that secondary area, the, those guys, the running backs are able to make a move and Ryan Sedgwick it, himself also with three rushing touchdowns. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a unique day, I guess, for Ryan having three rushing touchdowns. Um, you know, but it, it's a read play and, and, you know, he's reading the defensive end and, you know, or, or the overhang and, it, you know, when they give it to him, he's going to take it. You know, it's kind of funny. He's, uh, you know, we've done helmet stickers this year and, you know, he's, he loves getting his helmet stickers for the rushing touchdowns. And I'm sure I'm going to hear about this in practice at some point, but uh, no, you know, watching those guys make guys miss and, you know, watching Sedge run in. I mean, there's been a couple times this year where he's fooled me. You know, I'm looking at the running back and, you know, he's standing in the back of the end zone flipping the ball to the official. So it's, you know, it's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's exciting to watch for sure. And on the defensive side of things, it, it doesn't happen by accident. Holding the team scoreless, team ball was effective on the defensive end. Absolutely. You know, starts up front with the D-line. You know, we're rotating six, sometimes nine guys through there. And um, that was a bit of a tough sell early in the year. It's something that we haven't done in the past. And, um, you know, having some some really significant depth and, and quality players, um is allowed us to do that uh, and it keeps those guys fresh and, uh, you know, allows us to, you know, kind of stay in attack mode for four quarters and not have tired legs out there. And then obviously the linebackers have done a great job. Um, senior heavy group, lots of experience out there at this point in the season. And then, um, you know, the secondary has kind of been a little bit of a work in progress and you're starting to see, um, you know, I talked with Justin Rutowski and, and Marvin Manassa, and, and they're playing the best football that they've played. And it's super exciting to watch. And, um, you know, we hope to continue this week. Well, they certainly have a lot of depth and uh, experience, and we're going to honor that this year, uh, this weekend against Wilkes in, uh, in Senior Day. Just talk about this senior group and how much they've meant and what they've gone through in, in their four or five years. Well, I think that, you know, they're still here is is a testament to who they are as people in a sense. And I think that goes for, you know, not only our seniors, um, but the seniors that are in all of our other programs and, and not just here at Stevenson, you know, seniors around the country, you know, having, you know, their, their college careers interrupted for, you know, 18, 19 months and, you know, being able to maintain grades and being able to maintain a focus on, you know, their, their particular teams. And um, it, it's unique. You know, I don't know that we'll ever, hopefully never experience something like that again. And, you know, it's, it, it puts these guys in a, in an odd predicament as far as, you know, returning for another year, not returning for another year, going, you know, starting their, their careers, et cetera. Um, it's interesting because I've had a number of conversations over the season and, you know, everything that their parents and, and everything that we've talked about has been about being mature, making good decisions, um, growing up, handling your own responsibility. And I find myself in these meetings because players will ask me, you know, what do I think? I say, I want you to be immature for another six months. You, you know, it's kind of walking back what you want them, you know, what you've kind of guided them to do. But I think it's also, you know, college football special, you know, and, and, you know, you know you're not going to have another opportunity to play. And so I think it's put a lot of these upperclassmen in, 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 in a, in a kind of a bind, so to speak, as to what they're going to do. And, you know, again, adding more stress to what's been a pretty stressful career. So I can't say enough about our guys, super proud of them. Um, really, uh, you know, really hopeful that, that, that they've gotten everything out of their experience that, that we hope that they have. And, um, you know, great group of guys are going to miss them a ton for sure. Well, Coach, uh, we certainly will miss watching them as well. And uh, thank you again for your time. Absolutely. He's Ed Hoddle. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Ed Hoddle Coaches Show.